Hey y'all, Dennis here, Muddy Water Search and Recovery, and we're going to do kind of a recap update on Rochelle Elizabeth Hammond. If you remember, uh, Rochelle is missing from Mosca, Colorado since August 15th of 2019. She was 30 years old, 5 foot 6, 120 pounds, black hair, brown eyes. Last seen wearing a black tank top, khaki shorts, black Nikes, and was last seen walking from her home in Moscow, Colorado. Um, her belongings were all left behind, including her medication. It was reported that she suffers from bipolar or sch and schizophrenia. I had not been able to confirm that part, but it is in reports that she does suffer from that. And she has not been seen or heard from since August 15th of 2019. And she, as her mom was running errands, she walked away from the home around 11.30 a.m. Her mother was getting their cell service fixed at, at that time and had Rochelle's cell phone with her. So Rochelle does not have her cell phone with her. Um, her mother was under the false impression that she had to wait 48 hours to report someone missing. So Rochelle was reported missing two days later to the Alamosa County Sheriff's Office on August 18th, 2019. A few people from the office come out and they done a ground search, but they did not find anything. The following day, they returned with search dogs. They had a helicopter, SUVs, continued their search. And again, they did not find anything. She did have a very close relationship with her mother. Her mom made the statement, she wouldn't not talk to me for over two years. That's why I believe she's being held against her will. And that is one of her mother's statements. Her mother has said she suspects that sex trafficking is somehow involved in Rochelle's disappearance. Alamosa County Deputy Sheriff Rick Martins took over the case on October 18th of 2021. He said while there is no evidence that points to sex trafficking, as of now, there's also no evidence that really points anywhere. One lead did stick out, a tip that Rochelle may have been in California or Massachusetts. The names and addresses in this tip was real as far as the name matching with the address in the locations in California and Massachusetts. So, so Deputy Rick Deputy Sheriff Rick reached out to the Oakland Police Department in California and the Randolph Police Department in Massachusetts. Um, he says there has been very little movement on their end since he contacted them. And he is still waiting to hear what they do find in their jurisdictions. As of right now, locally, he is focusing on two possibilities. First, he heard that one day before her disappearance, deputies had a run-in with Rochelle and some others on a vacant lot in Alamosa, and that she was there with a known female addict in the area. He said this is a property the department has to watch constantly. He's trying to track down the lady she was seen with to see if she has any information. Second, he planned on visiting a homeless shelter to see if Rochelle Hammond had been there or if anyone has seen her or recognizes her photo. He says there is the possibility that this could be one of those things where she just doesn't want to be found. And as far as visiting the homeless shelter... That was late last year. I have not found any updates on if that did take place or any results of that, but that was his plan at the time. 
Rochelle's mother hired a private investigator for about six months. She followed up on rumors that her daughter was being kept by two bad guys nicknamed Double and Diablo. Her mother also met with the local homeless man who wanted to help her. She received text messages from burner phones from a person or people claiming they had seen Rochelle Hammond in December of 2019 and that she was being sex trafficked in Massachusetts and California. Right now, there is no evidence that points at that, but like the deputy was saying earlier in this, you know, there's really no evidence that points anywhere on this. So at this point, Nothing can be ruled out. Going back to if she does suffer from bipolar and schizophrenia, you know, is this playing a fact in this? You know, was she abducted? Um, I've seen in multiple reports her mother said that it is not like her to disappear and it is not like her to be in contact with her mother. Others have said her and her mother were joined at the hip. They had a very, very close mother-daughter relationship. So with this, there's, to me, there is a lot of red flags in this case. And we will continue digging into this. And hopefully together, we can help bring Rochelle home. Till next time, you guys stay safe.